Everyone's gone to fall here. Picking up where we left off in the last episode. Um, I guess I can go get the shotgun. I don't need the chemical on me right now. So I need that on the other side of the mansion. Uh, let me open up this thing. There's a design of a sun and the moon. On the plate it says, Sunshine will awaken me. So as you can see on the sun, there's a heart. So you gotta basically push the buttons to make up the heart. See how it's light, lit up now? Push the switch, and ta-da! There was a mask inside. Part of the Book of Curses uh, quest we got earlier. When we got the sword key. I don't see what those red dots on its forehead are about. I've never understood that. But we don't need that just yet, so we're gonna stick that in there. Uh, I will take the lighter though. I will need that soon. Doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart. Go through anyway. Yeah, basically that just means we're only allowed to go through that door a couple of times before it's broken and we can't go through that way. It's a, it'll be a one-way door after that. Now, unfortunately, I am not planning on doing the infamous Jill Sandwich scene, as uh, I'm not sure if I may have messed that up or not. So I will be doing it the way you're intended to do it, uh, as in any character, by replacing it with a broken shotgun, similar to the key we just got in the last episode. So yeah, if you didn't replace it, uh, the shotgun there, you'd be trapped in this room, the ceiling would be lowering to crush you like in Indiana Jones, the Temple of Doom, and uh, depending on uh, factors I'm not fully, uh, I don't fully understand, um, either you'll get a game over because it'll kill you, or Barry will come at the last second and save you. I just don't know what the, the um, fulfillment conditions for that are. Also, yeah, I used up the armor key. So that's one less item in my inventory. The title is written as follows. Bring the light of truth to the three spirits. Picture of Valiant wearing a bracelet. It's set in yellow stained glass. Or switch. Is it? I'm sure the Valiant has turned orange. What's a Valiant? Uh, if anybody knows what that is, uh, tell me in the comments. Ah. Alright, here we go. A picture of a saint wearing a crown it is set in yellow stained glass. There's a switch here. Press it. Make sure the saint is turned green. That saint is looking good. And lastly, a picture of a sage wearing a necklace it is set in red stained glass. The switch here. Press it. Picture of a sage has turned purple. Also looking good. Lisa, protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. There's a switch at the bottom of the picture. Press it. Will you take the death man? Alright, so two down, two to go. Let's see if we can dodge this zombie again. Uh oh, we have activated that zombie. Darn it. Which 
one do we have? We have the mouthless one. Is that this guy? No, he's the single one. No, this one is in the nose. There we go. Alright, I need to bring all four of them there eventually, but I figure as long as we're here, drop that one off. How much inventory? We have room for three items. Let's. Yeah, let's go do that. Let's go do that. We're gonna get sent over to the item box when we do the other thing. So, may as well. May as well get a full inventory. Let's go dump some things off. Which I just realized I didn't need to bring the lighter with me since I'd have to go where I'm storing it before I can go use it anyway. But whatever. Whoa. Jill, don't scare me. Yeah, you speak don't scare for yourself, me. Barry. Yeah, speak for yourself, Barry. What are you doing here? Yeah. Well, uh, I think you should take a look at this. I warn you, though, it's not pretty. It's like anything in this mansion has been pretty? It's forest. Oh, you're just gonna tell me who it is. You can't just find out by looking. Oh, what could have done this to him? God only knows, but I'm gonna find out what did this to him. Yeah, something tells me not. Jill, could you investigate other areas? Yeah, sure. Jill, this is no longer useful, the forest. We don't know what's going to happen. Take it with you. Yummy. Grenade launcher, hell yeah. Look at that, baby. I still can't believe Yeah, first Kenneth, and now Forrest. Alright, we need two more items. Alright, those aren't uh, herbs. Alright, here we go. Couple of green herbs. And normally I combine them, but like I said, we're gonna be sent to an item box, so I may as well drop them out there. Let's talk to Barry. Barry. Oh, yeah. I still can't believe it. Okay. He still can't believe it. Forrest has given up the ghost. It looks like he's been dead for a while. Better watch out, Barry. He could come back as a zombie. One dangerous zombie. Here we go. Richard! Ow. What happened? Collided that wall. You're with the wounded! <sighs> this whole place is a killing zone. Uh, there are monsters. Yeah, I know. Uh, I've seen them. What did this to you? A big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Uh, venomous? Richard, hold on. Snakes are venomous. Bring me serum. 
I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. Unless he ate that snake, it would not be poisonous. It would be venomous. See what I mean? We gotta run back to that other uh, save room. The other side of the mansion. Which thankfully isn't too difficult since we've unlocked uh, the doors. So keep in mind that that plant uh, box still has an herb for us to use for our full heal. So we have to use up another defensive dagger. We need to take the serum. Is there anything in here? Oh, there is. Um, I need the lighter. I don't need that yet. Should be good for now. Let's go back. Hmm, don't know where the guy who was just attacking us went, but I'm not complaining. Snuck by him, that's good. way all right I'm coming with the serum I'll save you Time. Here, Richard. I'm gonna give you a shot. Oh Come no, was there. I supposed to bring in injector? <laughs> Jill, here's my radio. Take it. I'm. <sighs> Does it ever not hurt? <laughs> but the injection? The injection ever not hurt? Is that what he meant? Man, his arm really looks I'm okay. Up. The others. Oh, okay. The others? So yeah, I think he's gonna be okay. This is the only time Jill needs the lighter, is this room. An unlit candlestick. Can I play 
Marco Polo with these zombies get what I need without having to waste ammo on them. No! Okay. So you take the musical score. Yes. Now, I wouldn't have been able to get that had I not, been, had I not turned on the light. There would have been a thing saying she couldn't see what was there. Also, if I'm not mistaken, that zombie that came in there should be gone from here. Yay! Alright, and I have room for two items so I can grab those two herbs. And eat one. And take one. For that matter. Now that I have that, I can go and do that. Mission. But first, I can get rid of the lighter. I know it's a little redundant, but we're going back to where we just came from, where we got the serum. I guess we're using the balcony uh, herbs now. There are green herbs growing here. There's only enough for one more use. You have two new ones. Oh boy. I feel like I'm being too reckless, but I'm also conserving my ammo for later. Some people who overwrite their saves all the time I try to do the exact opposite. I just realized I should have brought the uh, herbicide with me. But, oh well. I'll just do the thing I was aiming for. Although I will need to make a pit stop in the dining room. Gem. Let me take the emblem. Oh, no, I 
couldn't see him. The glare in my TV, I couldn't see him. How are we doing on health? Caution. you take the musical score which clearly says Moonlight Sonata on it. An expensive looking grand piano. It appears Jill has been classically trained. Or otherwise took piano in, in high school. Or music class in high school. Or something, I don't know. <laughs> Will you take the gold emblem? And just like the key earlier, we need to replace it with the bland one. What was this? Trevor's Diary. November 24th, 1967. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. But wait, is that me word meager spell wrong? It doesn't look right to me. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family. I hope they are all right. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. November 26, 1967. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Ah, oh, so that's what the one Jill found earlier was from. Okay, that's who Jessica is. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait. Even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. That's before I passed out. I remember the men in the lab coats said something like, Most likely your family is already. I pray for their safety. November 27, 1967. Somehow I managed to get out of that room. But getting out of this mansion won't be as easy. I have to get past all the booby traps, the tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try to remember them for my own sake. Which is weird, because... Tiger eyes aren't really yet necessarily to completing the game. <laughs> Alright, let's go use that blue gem we picked up before we go place the um, gold emblem. There's a description here. A tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. Yeah, it definitely isn't what it looked like it said there. So yeah, there you go. The blue eye gives you shotgun ammo. Not exactly something you need to escape the mansion, but it's helpful. If I was playing the knife-only run, I wouldn't even bother pushing over a statue. <clears throat> so, uh, I will solve this next puzzle uh, with the gold emblem, and uh, that'll be the end of this installment. <coughs> Excuse me.
They picture two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight, while the long sword has pierced the head of the other. When two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. Looks like you can turn the gears inside the clock. Try it. I hope I'm doing this right. I think this is the right one. Yes! Alright. Alright, so... Got a mansion key! And again, you examine it. And engraving of a shield. It's a shield key. Which is the weirdest of the uh, four emblem keys. As it's a one use key. Whereas all the other keys have multiple uses. So it's very strange. So, like I said, but that won't stop the installment. Uh, so the next episode we'll use that key and uh, we'll call it here. Alright, it's been Skunga the Fall, signing out. Take care, have a good one.